Mediums may be divided into two principal orders. Physical mediums, those who have the power of obtaining physical manifestations, 160. Intellectual mediums, those who are more specially apt for receiving and transmitting intelligent communications, 65 at seek. All the other varieties belong to one or other of these two categories, some belong to both. If we analyze the different manifestations obtained through medianimic influence, we shall see that there is, in all of them, a physical effect, and that, with the physical effect, there is usually combined an intelligent effect. It is sometimes difficult to establish a line of demarcation between the two, but this is of no practical consequence. We include, under the denomination of intellectual mediums, those who are specially able to serve as intermediaries for the transmission of regular and continuous communications, 133.